Hello pals, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be designing Spooky's Cage. So if you've seen in a previous video what I have gotten for Spooky's Cage, I will be hanging those up in her cage. So I am going to start putting things inside her cage. All right, so the first thing I'm going to place in her cage is this little blue sanded perch. Sorry if the lighting is a little bit off. Um, one of my light bulbs went out. So I'm just going to cut that open right now. And I'm going to place it on the back. Oh no, there's so much sand coming off of it. Now I am just going to place this little blue right here. All right, now that I have placed the blue one, I am going to place the red one right here. I'm probably going to place the red one by her food, so it'll kind of be like together. This is how it's looking so far. I'm going to move on to a natural wood perch now. All right, I have finished the perches, and now I am going to do some kebabs. I'm going to place the kebabs inside of a cage. Kebab number one up on the cage. Moving on to kebab number two. Time to hang up the seashell toy. All right, now that I have hung up my seashell, it is time to do the second to last toy, this little frilly toy. All right, pals, so I have just finished doing the cage for Spooky. So I'm going to show you to you in three, two, one. Here we go. This is what Spooky's cage looks like now. I took everything out and replaced it with new things. I have his little kebabs, I have his little red sanded perch, I have his blue sanded perch and the seashell toy. And then I have the smaller kebab. Then I have two natural wood perches and I have this little very, very complex toy. And last but not least, I have the string toy. And this is what the outside of his cage looks like. And at the bottom here, I just have Spooky's and Zippy's food. And then I have Millet and some honey sticks. And then going here, I have Zippy's little area. I actually decided not to change anything in Zippy's area, just because I think he has enough. I don't want him to be overwhelmed. He agrees with me. And here is where I put the long ladder so they could climb back up. And then they could climb to each other's cage. And then here I just have a mirror. Hello. And then here I have some things that I used to have from my music class. And I just hung it up here so they could kind of chew on it. And then over here I just have the little playset. So that is the cage tour. I hope you enjoyed. It is looking so, so, so beautiful. I definitely hope Spooky enjoys it as well. And thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I hope to see you next time. Until next time, I love you pals. Stay safe. Bye-bye.